hello hey y'all hey everybody how's everyone doing today i hope y'all are doing well so welcome come on in make yourself at home kick your shoes off if you haven't already my name is marcia with mimi makes keepsakes and i'm happy that you're here just putting some cream on my hands it always seems so dry but welcome, my name is Marsha with Mimi Makes Keepsakes. I'm happy that you're here. Welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you for being here. You are amazing. Um, also, thank you for everyone that's been here with me for a while now. Um, it's been a little over a year. So yeah, it's been a fun YouTube journey for sure. So it's been a while since I've sat down with you and showed you what I've actually been working on, things that I've completed. Um, <clears throat> I think the last video I did last week, I showed you how my grandson's loveys and plushies washed up. And I thought that was really cool to see. I was staying with them that day and I'm like, let me gather up what I can find and see what condition they're in. And so that was really, really a fun video. I enjoyed doing that. Um, a little bit different, but I enjoyed it. Also, my daughter told me that she does throw them in the wash machine and dryer. And I'll post that video down below. I think it's the last one that I did before this one. And um, she says she puts them in the wash machine and dryer. She has a front load washer and dryer. She doesn't use any particular laundry bag. I think she says she washes them, on, washes them on cold and with her towels. You know, she's a busy parent. She just chucks them, throws them in with the towels. And the nose on the little bear that was picked off, she said that was actually from him. When he gets sleepy, he'll hum and he'll pick at the little nose on that bear. So that's why the nose thread started coming out. So if you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it seemed like they washed up really well, held together really well. So today is Thursday. I didn't keep my grandson today. I've had some personal injuries and end up hurting my back. It's an old, old injury. Just moved the wrong way because I was I'm lit. He's gotten a lot heavier now. So lifting and pulling on him and I'm sure <clears throat> turning a certain way got down in my back. I sure did, <laughs> sure did feel like a Mimi this week. I'm doing better, um, but it's been a little bit since I sat down and chat with you. I know one week it's just a bad headache, all that stuff. You don't need to hear all that, but I am doing better. And so I didn't keep him today. Today's Thursday, but I did ride with my daughter to on some errands. We went to Target and um, I got a vest, y'all. I got an outfit and I still have it on because I was trying it on, showing it to my oldest daughter and she laughed at me. <laughs> I'll show you. I think it's cute. So I have a little vest and a little skirt. It's, a little, it's wrinkled right now. Yeah. So I said, what do you think of my outfit? She's like, where's your pocket watch and your round spectacles? She's too young to know about the 80s, the 90s with the vest. I love a vest. I think it's cute. And I think it would look really cute with a cardigan over it. Yeah, I'm working on one of those too. I'll share that with you. And so she was talking to her sister on the phone. I said, FaceTime your sister my youngest daughter, let me show her my outfit because she didn't see me try it on and she loved it. <laughs> so it just goes to show you to each his own. I like a vest though. It covers the little muffin top. I like <laughs> All right. So you didn't come here to hear me jibber jabber about that either. Um, so today I do have a lot of things that I've made over the past two weeks. If you've seen my Instagram, I try to keep it up to date with things that I make that um, so I can remember what yarn I used, what hook I used, because sometimes I do veer away from the pattern a little bit. 
And I do have my iPad in front of me so I can go back to it for references, for a reference. But I need to go back and watch the video I did before washing the loveys so I can see what I actually talked to you about. But I know for sure today the items that I'm going to show you is more of some worsted weight. I'll make groomy some projects that I worked on and haven't worked on. Some I finished, some I haven't finished, some I may not ever finish. But I will share that with you. And also I've got questions. I was tagged in questions um, several weeks back, but like I said, I just haven't felt the best to sit down and do a video um, due to just not feeling well. And that has to do with my own doings, things that I've done, things that I've ate had made me feel really bad. I don't know why I do stuff like that, but I do eat stuff that I know that's not good for me that ends up causing inflammation. So first thing I want to show you is what I've made this week, what I finished. I'm not going to get to show you everything. I don't think we'll see how far we go. Um, but do you want to see what I finished or what I haven't finished? I'll show you what I finished. So you've seen on my Instagram, you've seen this cute little dragonfly. Y'all, this is stinking adorable look oh my goodness so this is from let me pull up my instagram this is from little forest makes and she has a bumblebee pattern that you can buy and with that bumblebee pattern you can purchase the four different modifications there's matthew there's damien the dragonfly and let me see what the other ones are I should have been more prepared. So this was made with the four weight worsted yarn, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I went back to Joanne to get some more plush yarn because I love their big twist plush. I needed some more yarn to finish a project. I went to Joanne's and I'm like, well, let me get some worsted weight yarn to do this year granny squares that I started. And they had Big Twist Value on sale, great price. I really like this. So this is the first time I've used Big Twist Value. And then I used it on my Damien the Dragonfly. And I thought he turned out cute, except for the eyes. The eyes, this was some Sheepies Katona little bitty sample, um, a big pack that my daughter got me for Christmas. And this was just a color that I had in there. And I used it on I think my cat lovey's eyes also. But let me show y'all. <clears throat> so with the modification, I apologize for constantly clearing my throat. So with the, that's what you get. Bethany the butterfly, Lena the, la Lena, Lena the ladybug, Matthew the moth, and Damien the dragonfly. And these were so cute. So I've seen um, one of my Instagram buddies. I just love this journey community. I love that my Instagram friends that I get to converse with back and forth on Instagram and I get to see what you make. And so La Z Liana is L-A underscore Z-I-A underscore L-I-A-N-A. -A. Um, looks like Liana on Instagram. She had made these little Matthews, these little insects from Little Forest. So I've seen her make many of these Little Forest mates. She made one and posted on her Instagram. I'm like, that's so cute. And Sonnet on, I believe the Sonnet Silence. I always enjoy watching her channel because she makes some of the cutest little toys. I mean, Garumi and she was talking about how easy and simple it was to make this. I'm like, well, that's my sign. I need to make these little insects and they are adorable. Just the sweetest. So I think I would like to make the ladybug. Will I sell this at market? I don't know. Um, my husband says I need to take some of my more um, detailed type work to the market. He's like, I think there would be an interest in it but it's so hard for me to get rid of them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
So this was a fun, easy make, and his name is Damien the Dragonfly. You know, I was able to make it up in a couple hours in the afternoon. I really don't tie myself a whole lot. Oh, I don't tie myself at all because I forget to stop, but I can pretty much tell, you know, how many movies I have to watch before I finish a project. I have been watching a lot of movies more than I have lately just because me being not feeling well and not being very mobile. I'm watching all y'all on YouTube. I know I got to go back and say hey and comments, but I've enjoyed watching y'all too, keeping me company as I've been <laughs> down, down and out for a little bit. It's always good to see y'all and hang out with y'all. But so yeah, this is one of the makes that I finished this week. The little dragonfly from Little Forest Makes. And it was so much fun to make. And so I did make it out of the Big Twist Value yarn, which I really like this acrylic. It's a lot softer than Red Heart Super Saver. I need to see if I can find the ball band. I found it because I have enjoyed making this so much. Um, Y'all ready? It's this sweet little bunny. <clears throat> Look at him. He's so cute. What's cuter than a rabbit and a cardigan, right? So I named him Benedict, Benedict Bunny. I think he needs a tail. <laughs> I gotta go back and check the pattern and see if he needs a tail. So I saw, I think it was Billy Dot Makes on Instagram. I'll pull that up too. I saw her, I love her Instagram. I just love looking at all the things she makes. She's such a good crochet artist. From what I understand is I saw this bunny come across her feed with a sewn felt coat from Luna Lappin's pattern. And that's just right up my alley because y'all know I've been making Luna Lappin sewing clothes for her. And I, I need to get another one cut out. I got the, the book that has the mouse in it. And I'm thinking I would like to make the mouse. Anyway, I believe it was Billy Dot Makes that I saw this bunny come across her feed with the, with the blue felt coat. And I'm like, I need to know where that bunny pattern is at. So I did some research from what she put down in her description and found the pattern. And let me just go to the pattern. Let me go to my, oh, it's on my, oh, I haven't shared this on my Instagram yet, y'all. So, so no, I can't go look on my Instagram to give you the information on Benedict Bunny, but let me go to my pattern and I'll show you. He is just so much fun to make. And he, it was um, not the easiest make. The pattern was wrote very well, written very well. Very well written pattern. Um, this is Mr. and Mrs. Bunny. So you get, you, you get the option to do a cardigan or a dress for Mrs. Bunny. This is Mr. Bunny. And the design is designed by Kara Deluxe. K-R-E-A Deluxe. And I'll just show that to you. I'll show the bunny to you. Slide that over a little bit. Look how cute, you guys. What? How can you not want to make that? So this has been a work in progress. I started on it. And then, then when I got to the heel, it was like, okay, I got to find time when I can focus and do this because reading the instructions, I'm like, um, I gotta be in a good place to do it. So it took me a while to do each leg. 
And then I didn't want to start on the cardigan because I'm the same way. I'm, I got to get in a place where I can focus and you know, not have my mind going 90 to nothing and do the cardigan. And actually the cardigan was not that hard. Um, it was fairly easy. And so the yarn that I used is, I love this cotton yarn from Hobby Lobby. And actually the body is, is called Spunky. I did the head and the body and I ran out of yarn. The ears, the head and the body, I ran out of yarn. But I had another thing, another um, skein of Spunky, but it was a different colorway. So I went to Hobby Lobby. That was when I showed you the picture of me and my grandson in Hobby Lobby and he's given all the female employee sweet eyes. Yep. <laughs> That was when I went to see if I can find some more in that colorway, but I could not because this was clearance. But I went ahead and used the other Spunky that was a little bit different. It's just a little bit lighter speckles in it. And you can see right there. But it, I think it's, I think it worked up just fine. Um, even though his legs may show up a little bit lighter than the rest of his body, I think he's just fine. Also, I could take the Luna Lappin pattern and maybe sew him some britches, maybe. Britches, y'all know what I'm talking about? Pants, dungarees. I don't know. I think he's about done. The head is a little, like I said, he's not perfect, but I love him, you guys. So the sweater also is, I love this cotton. So when I went to... Hobby Lobby with my grandson to find some more of this spunky yarn. I found this color and it is Serena Spa and I'm like, okay, this has got to be his sweater. It's so pretty. And I found these little buttons at Hobby Lobby. They happen to be on Chris on Christmas. <laughs> they happen to be on clearance and I just love them. I'm not sure about the eyes. I may bring them forward some more, but I'm not sure because when he's this way, you can't see his eyes, but when he's that way, you can. I don't know, what do y'all got? What do y'all think? Should I bring his eyes forward a little bit more? Hmm. Anyway, I love him. He's so cute and I wanna prop him up. I don't know where I'm gonna put him. Um, I may put him back here or I may put him in my living room. He's been sitting in my bedroom on my computer desk because I took him outside and took some pictures. I haven't done any videos yet. And then I brought him in and set him on my desk. I believe this was a pattern. I don't think I got it from Etsy. I got it from, y'all just look how cute. <laughs> it just brings me joy. This pattern, I believe I got it from the... Um, Kriya Deluxe. I believe I got it from her website. I'll leave the link down below. So yeah, I'm so, I don't know if I'll do another one and do Mrs. Bunny. I might. I think I should. What y'all think? Yeah, I think I need to do another one. But yeah, so I've been working on this for a couple of months now and finally finished it up. It was a project that would stay by my bed and I would crochet really wasn't that hard. You do have to pay attention to the head, the different increases and decreases. And then of course the heel, there's a, a way that you do the heel that I had to like focus on. But other than that, it was fairly simple. And you do have to keep up with the counts for the cardigan because everything's got to line up. So his name is Mr. Benedict Bunny. And okay, so moving right along, talking about works in progress. I started a cardigan, y'all. Why? Because I have done so many plushies and loveys that I want to do something different. So I'm working on the pullover pop cardigan. You remember that from last year? I not a cardigan. I'm doing a sweater. I did a cardigan. Um last year. First time I ever made a garment for myself besides a shawl or a beanie. So I'm working on the pop-up cardigan. She, It is a free YouTube tutorial and then she of course 
it's a free pattern on her website, but you know how that is. You go through and it's like ads and, oh, <laughs> it just drives me crazy, 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 crazy. So I did purchase the pattern, which is on sale now for 20% off. And that's what it's supposed to look like. I think it's gonna be cute. And it should be fairly simple, fairly quick. We shall see. So that's something I can work on, have beside my bed. So I'm not getting fuzzies all in my bed before I go to bed at night and work on that some. Also, am I still knitting, you ask? Oh yes, I am. Let me show you. Getting a little better. <laughs> a little bit longer since I showed you last time. I'm just crocheting, not crocheting, knitting back and forth. This is gonna be a scarf. So I'm working on that. I think I sh shared this with y'all what I was using in one of my videos, the yarn. So it will definitely need to be blocked because it's rolling in, but I think it's gonna be a beautiful shawl, not shawl, scarf. So I worked on that. I feel like I'm getting better with that. So I'm so excited. And also one of my Instagram besties, I just love this yarn community. She sent me a book for knitting animals. Oh, I just love it. And I'm like, just giddy over it. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to actually order the exact yarn that was used in the book and the exact needles that is used in the book. Also, someone else on um, YouTube said, hey, you need to check this book out because a lot of their animals are very comparable in size to the Luna Lapin. And did you know, one of my Instagram friends sent me that book. Y'all, y'all are just the best. It's just overwhelming with the kindness in this community. And I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for my book. I can't wait to start in it. And I will too. I'm determined. I would love to, I gotta make sure this doesn't slip off because I will definitely cry if this slips off. I would love to knit animals. Helen off a of Mousy Makes podcast, I believe. She knits the most beautiful animals and it's just a different look. Um, just like the felted animals, oh my goodness, so beautiful. But I do, I do enjoy crocheting animals also, and little bugs. So something else I haven't worked on today or this week or last week. Like Marsha, where's your granny square at? Hmm. <laughs> well, let me tell you. So. This past week, I didn't do a video. Our granny square was out of, y'all know I'm doing the crochet along. A year of granny squares. I have not dropped out, but just like Marsha, where's your granny square at? <laughs> so this was the granny square. I'm not gonna pronounce it because my southern tongue gets in the way of all the syllables just come out. I've heard y'all say it and I should have practiced. Um, practiced saying it. After I heard you say it, I should have said it out loud, but I did not. So this is was this past week's. I did start on it. <clears throat> this was my first start, okay? And then I went to go do the back and it just was not coming out right. And I told my husband, I said, it's not coming out right. My head hurts. He's like, well, stop. I'm like, you know, right. I just need to stop. And then, so my head got better. I tried it again. And this is as far as I got. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to start over. Let's try again. So I started over. Oh, mercy, y'all. Look at that. It's a four corner, no, what, a five corner? I don't know. 
it this just ain't working y'all i plus i'm not feeling well <laughs> it just ain't pretty i don't know y'all so i'm like you know what this may be one that i'm gonna pass on i know i just haven't felt well so my focus and just i'm like okay i gotta put it down because i'm spending too much time getting frustrated and we'll come back to it another week so that space will be blank and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that i let it go i let it go so i'm starting this week's <laughs> i'm not gonna sing the let it go song to you so that's this week's and guess what i think i'm gonna let that one go too don't judge me but i have started next week's <laughs> and there we go so we'll see how <laughs> next week's go but i'm okay with it y'all no seriously not feeling well not being able to focus it's got to be fun and so this one last week's was not fun for me even though i've tried several times and um may come back to it another time i don't know it wasn't fun so i'm letting it go i'm gonna have a minus one on my page <laughs> I was never a 100% student, you guys, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. So, there's that. Yeah, I am going to work on this one. We, that will be next week's. So, that's where I've gotten on some of the things I want to show you. I'm not going to show you any of my plushy stuff because... It will just take way too long. I might have to do that in another video. But I am going to show y'all because they are so cute. Also, I was tagged in some questions a while back. Um, some are fun questions. The summer months are almost over. I'm not going to say summer is over because it's still hot and sticky, but not quite as bad as it has been. If you can get out early, it's not too bad. But let's go with the questions. If you are through, if you don't want to listen to the questions, the Q&A, by all means, click off. <laughs> if I haven't bored you enough, bored you enough already, um, I appreciate you being here. But some are fun questions. I believe I was tagged by Shannon from the Spoonie Stitchery. Check her channel out. She's always got something cool and interesting going on. Um, so what are your favorite summer activities? Um, my husband and I, we haven't done this in a while, but we always enjoy, we like to kayak. Um, we like to ride bikes, um, hang out with family and friends. Y'all, this is going to be old lady questions. I mean, answers. I'm not old, but... I shouldn't have said that. I take that back. <laughs> but you do different activities through different seasons of your life. You know, with when you have children, your activities are going to be different than when you didn't have children. And then when you don't have small children, I'm blabbering. What is your favorite summer food? I don't have a favorite summer food, but the one food that reminds me a lot of summer that when I smell it, I can't, it brings me back to garden and vegetables. It's cucumbers. Because you know every summer you're picking the cucumbers and you're having cucumbers with vinegar and the smell, cucumbers and salt. So cucumbers is reminds me of summer. Is it my favorite summer food? No, it's not. I don't know if I have, I think I don't eat it anymore but I think watermelon would probably be my favorite summer food, especially as a kid, young adult. I love watermelon. I couldn't wait till you get that bright, juicy watermelon at the pool or the creek. Yeah. Um, do you celebrate any summer holidays? We do. We celebrate Independence Day, um, family and friends, cookout, 
have watermelon. Um, how do, what do you do for summer vacation? Do you have any favorite places? So a lot of times we don't vacay during the summer. We go after my birthday in the winter, we go someplace warm, um, Key West, Florida. And I think we may be going back to Key West this year. So I'm excited. Um, what is your favorite summer smell? Um, the rain in summer, there's no smell like it. It smells so good. Also, I love the smell of coconut, suntan oil, the beach, that mix. Oh, it's just, it brings you back to, because when I was younger growing up, my mom and dad, we went to the beach a lot on the weekends. And it's just that smell and the air and the salt and the sand and the coconut oil. Yeah. And margaritas. Not when I was little. <laughs> Not when I was little. Don't tell my mama. <laughs> um, do you have any special summer weather where you live? Yes. It's special because it's hot and sticky and you may get a hurricane. Never know when. It's always a possibility. Tropical weather comes through and it leaves. Just like today, thunder showers came up and they left. They're coming up from the Gulf and then they leave. So I don't know if it's special, but that's what it is. Where is your favorite place to cool off? In my house with air condition. Yes. I know my brother and I were talking, we grew up, we didn't have air condition. What did we do back then? Well, you know what we did? We played in the sprinklers and the water hose. We also drank down the water hose too, and we just fine. <laughs> we would be outside playing, especially at my aunt's. And we like, hey, Sheen, we thirsty. She said, get you some water out of the water hose. And you learn to let it run for about three minutes because you know it's going to be hot. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like playing outside as a child in the summer. It's just special. What um, do you go to concerts or outdoor events? We do. My husband and I enjoy doing concerts and outdoor events. Um, some of the ones that we've seen, I think it was Miranda Lambert at the Wharf in Florida. And we've seen others too. I think we've seen another concert there. We've actually went and saw, I think, Def Leppard and Journey. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, so we do enjoy doing concerts and outdoor events, um, depending on the time of the year, maybe at the beginning of the summer, toward the end of the summer. Um, don't forget your bug spray. <laughs> Water and bug spray. That's your best friend when you're doing outdoor events in the South. Um, do you play any summer sports? No, I do not play summer sports. Like I said, my husband and I, we enjoy kayaking. We enjoy um, riding bikes, which we haven't done in a while. But growing up, I grew up with boys. All my cousins were boys. So we would play whatever sport was in season for them, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, Archery, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite summer fashion trends? Um, I'm not a very trendy person, but at this season in my life, I've enjoyed dresses and skirts because they're cooler and you don't have to shave your legs. If the skirt's long enough, you don't have to shave your legs. And if you wear them with some cute tennis shoes, you don't have to get a Manny, Petty, Pedicure. I think it's Pedicure. It's been so long since I've had one, y'all. And also, I've told y'all in this season of my life right now is scrub pants. I like those because they're cool and not cool looking, <laughs> but they're cool to wear. They're comfy. They got room. They're baggy. It's kind of like sweatpants for the summer. Scrub pants. Yep. I like those too. But other than that, that's it, y'all. And so these questions and answers, no, these questions to these, these answers to these questions, um, it's just fun to play along. And if you want to answer these questions and tag me and Shannon, feel free or not tag us or not do them, but I'll leave them in the description down below. And if you want to do them, just tag me. I would love to see what your answers are or see, hear, listen, 
to what your answers are. Y'all, I need to go. It's late and I'm getting tired because my words are running together and my southern tongue is getting mighty thick, which I don't care. I am who I am. <laughs> I think that's it for today, y'all. I'm going over a little bit, but hopefully I, like I said, it's Thursday. I'll get this edited on the computer and out to you in the next couple days. And I will hopefully get back on this weekend and share some more of my plushies and lovies. Cause y'all are so cute. All right. Y'all have a great rest of your week going into the weekend and I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for being here. Y'all my besties. Bye y'all.